Hey guys and welcome back to a TechSuit review. This is the first TechSuit review I've done since the world pandemic and it's the first of many I will be bringing lots over the next coming weeks. Today we're going to be looking at a suit from ASICS and ASICS don't have swimwear worldwide but in Japan they do have a racing suit range. It's called the Top Impact Line range and we have one example of the suit here. The model number of this is the 2161A041 but as far as I'm concerned or I can tell at least it's one of their cheaper models and it complements their flagship line, which this year is the Sin 2020. Now, unlike a lot of the tech suits I review for you guys, I actually paid for these, but I got a pretty cheap deal from Amazon Japan, and I paid roughly 40 British pounds for these. Although if you do look on the ASICS Japan website, they retail at 130 pounds, which is not significantly cheaper than their flagship model, the Sin 2020, which retails at 190 pounds. Now, I've been wanting to try a ASICS tech suit for quite some time because, well, one, they just look absolutely epic. Like, this is easily one of the coolest suits available today. It's got this rainbow patterning on one of the materials. It's got this big neon yellow ASICS logo. It's got this weird textured, you know, racing stripes here. And it's also got a high waist cut, which you know I, I really appreciate in my tech suits. Features three different materials. We have the main body material, which is that sort of rainbow patterning, and they call that the Stinger Skin HD. And that's an 80% nylon, 20% polyurethane makeup. We have the, the side area, which is this sort of gray, dark gray, and they call that the Stinger Skin D1, and that's 71% nylon, 28% polyurethane, with a percentage of polyester. And they also have a different material for the lining, which is technically the same makeup as the body, but it, it, it's a different material altogether. The material feels really odd. Like, I don't want to say it feels like a training jammer, but it doesn't feel like your, 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 your standard race jammer either. It feels a little thicker, a little smoother, um, less papery and, and thin in texture. And it doesn't strike me as something that's going to be super fast to race in, but it, as I said, it does have this sort of weird feeling to it. And also, while it doesn't seem as hydrophobic as most tech suits, when it does go underwater, you can see the air bubbles layering around it. But when you do get out after a longer swim, it does remain wet, damp, and not have that sort of immediate dry effect that some other suits have. For me personally, one of the biggest surprises on arrival of this suit was the fact that this does have stitch seams, because their lineup is very, very vast. They, had the, they have a Rio Glide and a Rio Stream, the stream being for sprinters and the glide being for sort of more distance athletes. Um, similar to what Mizuno have done and Arena Japan do with like different suits, different things. And I wasn't sure which one of these I got, but it turns out this is neither um, because this is, the, as I said, the, the, the cheaper option, the cheap alternative to their range. And that is why it does have stitch seams and their, their, their more expensive options will have bonded seams. That being said, it has so many stitch seams and it just seems like an unnecessary amount and they really are high profile and it just doesn't seem like that would be optimal for racing fast. What's even weirder is they do have what seems to be some sort of taping or bonded seams around the back of the hamstring here. So it does seem like they've got the technology and they're, they're, they're putting it in, but they're sort of almost putting the stitch seams on purpose to make this the cheaper model, not because it's even cutting costs, because or the bonded technology is in this suit. What's also really weird is the, the lining of this suit is unlike any other race model I've ever had. And it's almost like a, a netting that you can, you can actually physically get hold of. And it's, it's you know, a, a netted, webbed, whatever you want to call it, modesty lining that again feels really thick. And it seems more like something you're getting board shorts for going down the beach than in a, a, a high level racing suit. The same goes for the leg grippers, which the, instead of being like a, a rubber or silicone that really does grip to your leg, it's almost like this soft, soft, stretchy material that does have a slight bit of um, pull to it that does lock around your legs, but it's, it's nowhere near as grippy as what you're getting from these other mainstream brands. If I'm gonna nitpick even further, I have to say that I'm quite disappointed to see such a prominent label inside of TechSuit as well, instead of having the size and the, 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 the makeup of the suit printed on the inside, like, like again, most brands are doing now. This big bulky label just again goes against what you expect and hope and want from something that's gonna make you swim faster. 
Regardless of some of the more critical things I've said here, this is still a unique and weird suit. The material, as I said, it does seem to be more like a training suit, but it, it, it's not. It's still a, a weird, racy type of material that just, again, just feels different to anything I've had. And paired with the awesome design, this, this is still a very intriguing suit. So the ASICS model I have is in a size large, and that was solely because it was by far the cheapest one to buy. Um, medium was much more expensive, and for the most part, it fits okay. It's quite tight on the waistband, which is not like the traditional sort of football short waistband that most suits have, but it's, it's very tight there, and that's the hardest bit of the suit to get on. For the most part, it's very easy. The material has a lot of stretch, and you can see how much give the suit has by me just put in here, for example. So it's not a difficult suit to get on. I can get this on in well under a minute. It's really, really easy, and it's great if you're doing a lot of races back to back and you want to get a new suit on quickly. This can get thrown on in a second. And when I was racing last weekend, I didn't have a, much of a turnaround between my 100 fly and 53, but wanted a fresh suit on, and I was able to get the MP Matrix off and put this on right away. So that's a, that's a huge pro. But as I said, very easy to put this suit on. And actually really coolly, it does come with a pair of ASICS suit putting on gloves that you can check out in my ASICS swim jack review um, in, a, in a separate video. Link should be around here. Now I've already mentioned how cool I think this suit looks, but I think actually looking at the suit, you can see what I mean. It's uh, yeah, it's got a great aesthetic, and the fit for me is spot on. It's got this higher waisted fit that's not right up to your belly button like some of the original high waisted suits done. It's much more like a Mizuno, so it comes high enough, makes you feel really, really supported. And we have this sort of bonded taping that comes around here for a little bit of extra support. The top material feels super smooth, whereas this this feels a little coarser down here and I, I really do like how the suit fits because it's just ridiculously comfortable like if you wear this versus wearing a Mizuno one is almost like you know battling just to wear it and be in it and it's a huge relief when you take it off and this one is like you know you could be in this for hours and actually when Lewis was trying out this in training he said this is a great suit for doing training swims in where you want a tech suit on but you want a little bit more comfort because you can put this on for a two hour session and you're not rushing to take it off you're not you know not enjoying being in it if you're swimming down a little bit and stuff like that obviously I don't recommend swimming down and being in suits for a huge amount of time but if you did want to get a cheaper suit for, for, for training, and you can get one as cheap as I did at 40 pounds, then this is a great option. Now, talking strictly about performance, I do think this suit has a low amount of compression. I think it could have much less drag if it had bonded seams. These, these, these big, thick seams seem to be everywhere, and that they, they can't aid performance, and the water repellency isn't great. I must admit, when I dived in for a race and a competition in this suit, I was pretty underwhelmed. I, I got out of thinking, oh my God, that swim could have been so much faster had I just been wearing a, a better race suit. So that's not, a, that's not a feeling you want to have after racing, but it, it is one I had in this suit, and I, I, I don't think the performance is the best it could physically be. Outside the compression of this taping around the glutes and the, the, the hamstrings, a little bit just above the groin here, this, this suit has no compression. I, when, I, when I dived in, it almost felt like it wasn't supporting my muscles in any way, and I almost felt like I could have been better off in briefs. I think that's probably an exaggeration, and I, I have to be completely honest with you, when Lewis has tried this in training, he's absolutely loved this suit. He thinks it's super comfy, super fun to wear, and he's swum pretty damn fast in training wearing it. So, you know, my opinion is just one opinion. I like that, that high level of compression, and I can deal with the suit not being super comfy, but, to be honest, as I said, Lewis had a completely different sort of experience than I did with this. I come out thinking this was the worst suit I've worn in a long time, especially when I've been trying to swim fast, whereas Lewis wore it and was like, I don't know what you're talking about, I enjoy this suit. And I think that just goes to a lot I've had to say on this channel about all of these things being very individualized and what you look for in a suit. And just because I think a suit's great, it doesn't necessarily mean you will too, and vice versa for not enjoying a suit. Anyhow, this is one example of an ASICS Japan swimming tech suit. I've been wanting to try one of these for so long and I'm absolutely buzzed I can finally bring you a review on one of these suits. And if you have tried one of these, do let me know in the comments if you've tried an ASICS suit, which model, 
and, and, and how you found it. Did you enjoy it? Maybe you've tried one of the higher level models with the bonded seams and you've had a great experience. You know, there's been some great swimmers who have worn these like Nak Nakamura from Japan and Eddie Wang from Taipei, who have swum super fast when wearing ASIC suits. So there's gotta be something there. As I said, I am gonna be bringing a lot more review videos soon. If you did enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and as always, I'll see you on the next video.